the small other, we will use curtain yarn. Take out the practice yarn and 2.5 mm crochet hook from the kits. Please watch the tutorial video first and practice the basic stitches with the practice yarn. The head. Wrap the brown cotton yarn around your little finger and then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail with the thumb and middle finger. The yarn can be pulled freely like this. If the yarn tail is too long, we can pull this side to shorten it like this. Working into a magic ring, Make a loop around your middle finger and paint the crossover of the yarn. Insert a hook into the loop on middle finger. Hook the yarn and put up a loop. A magic ring is formed on the middle finger. In round one, start with a chain stitch, then work eight single crochets, finally end with one slip stitch. The chain stitch surface the beginning is to raise the height, and the slip stitch surface the ending is to join its round. They are not counted into the number of stitches. Put one chain stitch first, yarn round hook, and pull through the loop on the hook. That's one chain stitch. Such a V-shape is formed on the side. The chain stitch as the beginning is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then work 8 single crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn round hook and put up a loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook. Then yarn round the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet. Such a V-shape is formed on the side. Place the marker in the first stitch through the underneath of both loops of the V-shape. We need to mark the first stitch of every round. Continue to work 7 more single crochets in the same way.
Eight Vs on the side stand for eight single crochets. The loop on the hook is not counted as one stitch. Pull the yarn tail ties to close the ring. Finally, with one slip stitch, the slip stitch only surface the connection. It is not counted into the number of stitches. Insert a hook into the mark stitch. Yarn round hook and put up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. That's one slip stitch. Round one is done. Pay attention to the yarn's tightness during crocheting. If it's too tight, we can insert the hook easily. If it's too loose, the fabric will be out of shape. In round two, start with one chain stitch and then work eight increases. Finally, end with one slip stitch. But one chain stitch first. Yarn round hook and pull through the loop on the hook. That's one chain stitch. The chain stitch is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then work 8 increases. Increase means working 2 single crochets in the same stitch. Work 1 single crochet in the first stitch where we just work the slip stitch of last round. Mark the first single crochet. Then work one more single crochet in the same stitch. One increase is done. Continue to work 7 more increases in the same way. We need to work 2 single crochets in each stitch. Eight increases are done. This is the slip stitch of last round. It serves as connection and should not be counted into the number of stitches.
This is the chain stitch of this round. This is not counted into the number of stitches. Skip these two stitches and work one slip stitch in the mark stitch. The slip stitch surface connection, it is not counted into the number of stitches. Round 2 is done.